Oh, oh, they were angry. Look at their eyes. Oh, they're coming after me. So out of nowhere, Minecraft has added a brand new feature into the game, bees. So yesterday they tweeted about the bees being added into Minecraft. And as of recording this video, it has 111 thousand likes. I have never seen a post on Minecraft's Twitter with anywhere near this amount of likes. It's, it's crazy. People are loving Minecraft and we're loving this mini update. Check them out. Look how cute it is. Come here, you. Oh, it's so cute. Now, loads of people have been commenting on how big these bees are. If you think about bees in real life compared to these guys, this guy's literally the size of my head. So I get it, but they're also super cute. <laughs> Look at him. So how do you get bees? First up, you need to be in either a plains biome, a sunflower plains biome, or a flower forest. And they will generate naturally. There you are. Thought I'd lost you then. There's also another way to be able to get them, and that is by bone mealing trees or just by growing them. So I'm going to grow a few of these, and hopefully it has a nest attached. I don't think that one does. Actually, I'm going to pop my headphones on because there's a certain noise that they make, which is slightly different when you're growing the trees. So let's bone mill this one. Come on, come on, give me the goods. Give me the goods, give me, there it is. Did you hear it? A slightly different sound, which sounds like, oh, it's so cute. Which sounds like a bee nest being created. Now, as you can see, each bee nest, when it spawns, has three bees inside. And I think that's the maximum capacity of them as well. And as soon as they're born, they'll start to find flowers. So let's make this job a little bit easier for them. And let's spread flowers right near their nest. Here we go. That's the stuff. Get some sunflowers in there as well. Get your giant bodies and your faces rubbing into those sunflowers. Come on, get all the pollen you can. Why are these bees going so far away? Hey, hey, I've got sunflowers here for you. Come over, come back. Actually, I can bring them back myself. Hey, come here, you and you. You're going the wrong way. I'm going to guide you towards the flowers. It's easy mode. I put them straight outside your nest, guys. Yeah, there we go. Right, you are free. To explore the flowers. Go on, eat up. Look, they're pollinating. They're gathering nectar. And what they'll do is they'll change slightly in appearance. Yeah, look, like this guy. This guy's got a full butt of pollen over here. He's dripping in it. <laughs> but when they've got this, they'll go straight back into the nest. They'll stay in there for a little bit and deposit the honey. And the hives work off of a level system, the maximum being five. And every time a loaded bee full of pollen goes into the nest, that increases the hive by one level. Another feature that they have is they can actually, while they're dripping with this nectar, they can make it so that they increase your crop growth. So if I plant some of these down near their nest and then grab some water real quick, they should, if they fly over with full pollen, they should advance your growth of your plants by one stage, which is quite a cool little feature as well. So you can have them buzzing around your hometown, making your crops feel nice. Are you guys going to go into the nest or are you just uh, addicted to pollen right now? Look at them full of nectar. It's dripping from them. So by looking at it, you can't actually tell what level your beehive is at unless you're keeping track of them. But when it reaches level five, these little holes here will fill with honey and the whole thing will just drip because it's full of honey and bees. Tasty. Do they want some more flowers? Let's try Lily of the Valley. They want a, they want a little bit of a variation in their diet right now. Here you go. Here you go. See, that's what they wanted. <laughs> go on, fill yourselves with nectar. I want some sweet, sweet honey, please, guys. How about poppies? You find poppies tasty, huh? I know they don't eat them, actually. They just rub themselves in them, but um, might be tasty still. Look at this. A makeshift flower forest just for you, my new babies. Ah, he went in. Okay, so that should be on a level two now. And there's this guy over here who's trying to get absolutely slathered in pollen. How are you? Oh, yeah, I forgot. They follow the flowers. You know, like if you've got a chicken and seeds or a pig and a carrot or a, a cow and wheat, it's irresistible to them. Well, that happens with bees as well, but with any kind of flowers. If I take this out of my hand... We'll just get back to business. Get back to work, please. Now, the bees can also get angry. Um, I don't want to do that just yet because they're working for me and I want that sweet honey. But I'll show you that when I've showed you the nice bit because they're cute. Let's keep them cute for now. But they do have a stinger. You can see it on their butts. They have a stinger. They can use it. 
And it's quite scary, actually. If you if you get a load of bees angry, you'll be dead. <gasps> just like that. Now, we just sit here and wait. We wait until the nest is dripping in honey. Oh, you can also breed bees as well. So, bop and bop. Show me the baby bee. Here it comes. So cute! Where is it? It's so small that I can't even see it. There it is. It's like half the size of a normal bee, and then you can use flowers to make them grow. So every flower you use will increase their growth state by 10%, and then it gets to the maximum. I'm not sure this bee quite knows how to work. Are you guys okay? Where did all of you come from, huh? I didn't breed that many. Stay away. Get back to work, please. Thank you. Look at them spinning in the flower. That's so cute. They just get absolutely slathered in it. This should upgrade it to five. Okay, that's got to be number four. We need one more. Come on, guys. You've got this. You're struggling. I know you're teaching your child how to collect nectar, but this isn't quite the way, is it? <laughs> Do better, please. Oh, yeah, it did work. So you have to wait for them to come out when they're finished. Look at this. Yes, rain on me. Rain on me. Sweet, sweet honey. <laughs> I'll just stand under it with my mouth open. Ah, uh, okay. So now that this is complete, we can do two things. Oh my goodness, it's so sticky. Look at this. There's loads of it. We've got two options. We have the glass bottle or we have the shears. Now, I want to use the shears first because that gives us honeycombs. If we right click. Oh, oh no, why are you angry? What? I didn't, I didn't do anything. All I wanted was your honeycomb. Can you guys please chill? Thank you. Look, they're angry. Look at their eyes. Oh, they're so angry. Look at them. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Please calm down. Do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put down a campfire. Apparently, if you put a campfire underneath them, they're like, act like the smoke. You know, you see the beekeepers with like their smoky thing. Well, that works in Minecraft too. I forgot to do that before I snipped it, which, uh, which would have been better. I'm going to get stung. But hey, we got ourselves some honeycomb. Now, apparently, we can use this to be able to craft a beehive. So I need three honeycomb and six wooden planks. So let's grab that right now. Beehive. And now, this is like the man-made version to breed bees. I'm going to put this here. And there you go. Straight in. Now, I just need to wait for some more honey. Wait for these to get to level five. I'm pretty sure these work in exactly the same way. I'm just going to place loads around and then grab loads of bees. There we go. <laughs> bees? My bee army is growing. And it's also going to betray me right at the end of this where I make them all angry. Yes! I'm the bee master. Look at them all. They look so cute. Go ahead, my workers. Slather me in honey. I'm ready for it. Just need to put a few more of these little boxes around and hopefully we'll have some honey in no time. Now these bees can also talk to each other. So hopefully the angry ones haven't talked to the nice ones and told them what I did. I didn't steal from you. It was a lie, a barefaced lie. But they can tell each other where the nests are. They can also tell each other where flowers are. They're actually pretty smart. Did you see that? The bee flew over my farm and made that advance. It actually works. Th the legend is true. It works. That's kind of cool. So if you plan it correctly and have your beehives above your farm, you can make your crops grow even quicker. That's cool. Yes, it's complete. Now, because this one is smoked, it should mean that they don't get angry when I steal it. Are you angry? Yeah, see, look, they're not angry this time. Perfect. Okay, right. I'm going to run over here real quick. Head into survival mode, which is a little bit scary, and see what this honey bottle does. I want to run around and get rid of some of my hunger for a second. Because I'm pretty sure it increases hunger. I'm not sure what else it does. But apparently, it's a really good source of food in your Minecraft world. Okay, I'm down to four hunger points remaining. So, let's eat this. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting noise. That That is weird to drink honey. I'm not sure that's even possible. But it gave me three hunger points back, which is actually really good. And all because these guys do the hard work. All you need to do is grow trees to get a bee's nest. You can steal bee's nests, but if you break them normally, you get honeycomb and they get angry. But if you silk touch, you can grab yourself a nest. It will have the bees inside it. So when you place it down, the three bees will come with you, which is kind of a cool feature. Now, I am going to spawn in loads of bees and show you what happens if you make them mad. So let's just spawn in absolute tons of them. 
I only think the adults will hurt you, so let's not spawn babies in. Oh my goodness, there's so many. <laughs> and then we'll go to survival mode and see how long we last. I'm going to hit one of these bees, and they act like zombie pigmen. So I'm going to hit one and run. Here we go. Who's the chosen one? But the flower saved it. Don't judge me, sheep. There we go. Oh, oh, they were angry. Look at their eyes. Oh, they're coming after me. They're pretty slow, so they're not too bad to outrun. But because I hit one of them, all of them are angry. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, there's so many of them. Ow, he stung me. Ow. Okay, so they do one heart damage. Ow, ow, when they sting you. And they also apply poison effects. <laughs> I was stung to death. No, bees, please. That was tragic. So yeah, if you angle one bee... They will be extremely angry at you. Are these guys angry still? Hello? Let's see what happens. Hit one, and it stings you. Ow! And also, when it stings you, it loses its stinger, and then doesn't attack you again. So, one bee by itself isn't too bad. Does apply poison effects still, which could get you down to half a heart, and then they can sting you again from another bee. But they only attack you once. Because that's what happens in the wild, and then after 60 seconds, the bee will just naturally die. Which is really sad, so don't punch bees. Don't make them angry. Make sure you've got your smoker ready, or you're going to die a very painful death. And so is the bee. So be nice to bees. Oh, wait. These guys are all angry. Oh, no. I didn't mean to wander. You used to be my family, my friends. And now you're going to sting me to death. It's over. It's over. I'm dead. <laughs> I love how they spin around and sting you. That's amazing. Look how beautiful this is. I'm all for anything that adds any kind of life to Minecraft. And I also really hope that they add more of these mini updates in the future because obviously everyone likes this. It keeps the game moving and now the game is popping. I think it's going to keep people interested in the game for much longer. We do have Minecon coming up soon, so maybe there'll be a big announcement there. But I also want to show you one more feature. If you grab the honey bottles and put it into a crafting table, you get three sugar which is perfect. Another way to get sugar, which is great. But for now, that is it. That is it from me and my bee farm. I think there's some other hidden blocks in here, actually, which means that they could do some other stuff with Minecraft bees. I think there's a wax block, and then there's also crystallized sugar as well. They're not currently in the snapshot, but someone found the textures for them. So there could be more bee action very, very soon. You can even reenact the bee movie in Minecraft. <laughs> but apart from that, thank you so much for joining me in exploring what the new bees do. If I forgot anything, let me know in the comment section down below, as you always do. But go and check it out. Find the post on Twitter, and you'll learn all about the new magical bees. I really hope they do more of this stuff in the future, adding new mobs, adding new features, new tools, new ores. I don't know. I just hope they keep doing it. So thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed for more Minecraft. Pretty much every single day, hardcore's coming out tomorrow, and it's a good one. Don't worry. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Posters, tie swing, wagon, candle, canvas, sofa, fork, rubber band.